Joining me now is Faji Zauna Maina, an associate research scientist at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Maina was born in Niger and is the first Nigerian woman to work for NASA, among many other accomplishments. Faji, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. You know, I'm so excited to hear you're working for NASA, the first one, first everything. So at what age did you decide you wanted to become a scientist and what drove you to that interest? So I would say I have always been curious. Like by the age of five, I grew up like asking a lot of questions. But growing up in Niger, actually, I didn't know if that means like being a scientist because scientists basically are trying to answer like questions that we have in our universe. So I, I don't have like that idea of science because I was growing up in Niger. But I would say like I was curious by the young age. And also I loved to study when I was like really young. So that's like my passion has always been to study, to work, to go to school, and then to also like kind of ask a lot of questions. So tell us how did you end up with NASA and what do you do there? So I would say I have never imagined, I mean, it was a dream, like a childhood dream, you know, as all the child children in, like in Africa, we want to see ourselves in that kind of big institution like NASA. So it been like, I, I went from, I lived in, I left in Niger when I was um, 16 to go to Morocco for my bachelor. Then I went to France for my master's PhD. And then I landed in the US in 2018. And that's after like uh, two years and half in the US that I got a job for NASA. What I'm doing right now at NASA is trying to understand the impact of climate change on water resources using NASA satellite data and high performance computing. So how did growing up in Asia kind of, you know, give you that drive, that interest to want to excel in science? So I was born and raised in Zander in Niger, which was like the first capital of the Niger Republic. And that city is well known for its water scarcity issues. So growing up, that's a problem that I have in my society. So I was like so eager to kind of understand water because I grew up understanding that water, water is really important for us as human beings. So like it's like normal for me to be able to, to, to kind of like be interested in studying water. You know, uh, when I was looking up at uh, what is listed about you, I saw that you were listed in the 2020 Forbes 30 under 30 ranking and by New African Magazine as among the 100 most influential Africans. What's your advice to young women, young girls out there who would like to be like you? I would say just be passionate about what you are doing. Try to find your passion and work hard because you never know when your work is going to take you. It took me from Zendel to NASA, so you never know when you're going to end. So just be passionate about your work and really work hard. Be serious in the work that you are doing. And everything is possible. I just want to say, say to them, everything is possible in this world. So when we think about NASA, everybody thinks, okay, we're going to take the rocket and go. When are you, <laughs> what's your next goal? Are you thinking about, you know, flying, being one of those first women? I mean, right now, I like my passion, like on my work is studying, using those data that's coming from space. So probably I would like to stay on Earth and trying to see, uh, to analyze all the data that are coming from space and then trying to capture how water is traveling on Earth, basically. Yeah, I would say more satellite, my, I'm more interested in having more satellite than going to space. <laughs> well, I have to ask you this. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is already heading to Niamey, mm -hmm. your country. What do you expect out of this meeting? I expect that this is going to strengthen the relation between uh, US and Niger in science for sure, because I'm a scientist. Why not having more scientists from Niger coming to the US to do some research? And also like um, US helping us for the stability of the Sahel, because I'm from the Sahel, my family still lives in Niger. So for sure, security and the stability of the region is 